Guys, I'm genuinely creasing. Hello, so today it's a very different kind of video from me. Um, I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do this if I'm just going to literally like upload this about me getting my lip filler dissolved and like a little warning to all you guys who may have filler or maybe wanting filler or put it in like a weekend vlog or like to be fair I'm getting a facial on Saturday and I'm dyeing my hair back brown in like two weeks so I might just like extend the vlog and do like an extreme transformation. I don't know, you'll know by the time that this is up what the hell I've done with it. So if you watch my video and you know me you know that I'm not promoting cosmetic procedures like that's just not what I do the reason why I wanted to film this is because a a lot of you have said that you're interested in seeing it but b more so as a warning to just be careful when it comes to filler or be more aware now the reason why I'm getting my lip filler dissolved is because I have migration above my top lip which is basically where the filler it's no longer in your lip and it migrates around the area wherever it's been injected i'll pop you up there so i can speak to you a little bit easier and i'm not having to hold it um but yeah so i'm getting my lip filler dissolved like i said if i like how it looks without the filler then i'm not even gonna like get it redone sorry if you can hear rain in the background by the way uk uk summertime is coming to an end i am going somewhere in bradford because that's where i'm from and if it's good i will obviously recommend it my main point with this is just if you have had your lips done and you are getting top up after top up after top up because you feel like your lips are deflating just make sure that your filler is not actually just starting to migrate because the past few top ups I've had um, and I'm, I'm a bit annoyed about it to be honest because I feel like the woman who does my lips should have noticed that but the past few times I've had it done it's been because I've said like oh my, I feel like I've got more volume there but not in my actual lip and I think most not maybe not most people but some people aka probably the right people I should be going to see would have noticed that and said well we need to dissolve that and then you can redo it if you want to just my opinion on it one thing i want to say as well is i've had quite a few messages on instagram because i posted some pictures yesterday on my story of what i look like pre-filler and a lot of people were saying you look really good without it like don't get it redone really appreciate the kind comments it's a very very lovely thing to say but it is my face if i want to get it redone i will get it redone and like i said it's not a deep-rooted insecurity for me like i could be without it and be fine and i could get it done and also be fine like i will literally just play it by ear and see how i feel i am a little bit nervous just because i don't know how my lip is actually gonna look when it's dissolved because apparently your lip is like permanently stretched out so it won't even go down to the size it was before it's still gonna be a little bit bigger which i suppose not really a bad thing bye to this top lip which has been a bit of an insecurity of mine for like a couple of months i'm not gonna lie um but i just didn't but with lockdown and stuff obviously i couldn't sort it out and also i just want to say be very careful with what you say to people online and the way that you word things it is very true that it's not what you say it's how you say it because i have had quite a few messages over to be honest the past like nine to twelve months on instagram um from girls being like like they'll say things like oh like please don't take this the wrong way but you look awful with filler and you should get it dissolved you looked much better before blah 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 and i just think there's a way of saying it and that's not it just be very careful because it actually made my made me more insecure about my lips and made me second guess them even when they looked absolutely fine and yeah just be very very careful ladies don't take it too far and i do think if you have been having filler for like three years like i have i think there comes a time when you've just got to say let's just start afresh and not put any more in there i just feel like it's better to do that i don't know um so yeah i'm gonna drive to my appointment now and get this bad boy dissolved i can't wait i'm just gonna come in so you can actually see what i'm talking about great because of the lighting it's actually like you can't see anything but in certain light i basically get a shadow all along here because of where the fillers migrated to and like when i go like that not that i would ever go like that or like when i smile sometimes it's not do yeah it, it gets that like i've got like a line there because oh puffy above my cupid's bow so yeah we're saying goodbye to this bad boy this morning and yeah i'm excited let's go guys i'm genuinely creasing 
I am very, 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 very upset about this. Hey guys, it's Nicole. So, oh my God. So basically, after you've had filler, it has to swell before it goes down because essentially, I cannot take myself seriously. Essentially, what you've done is you put an extra mill of product in there. Basically, she was explaining to me what happens is they put the like breaky downy thing in and it like pops the molecules of filler and then like basically your body breaks that down and you excrete it out um aka wee it out poo it out i don't know but oh my god i can't stop looking at myself <laughs> imagine if oh do you know what this makes you think though imagine if i ever like took my filler too far and my lips ended up looking like this can you actually imagine I think not. Yeah, I went to the gloss bar in Bradford um, and she's so, so good. She's really, really lovely. Knows what she's talking about. Properly qualified to do the job. And I felt really, really comfortable, really like talkative. So with like filler, what tends to happen is it'll be a bit swollen after and then the swelling like goes up. Whereas with dissolver, it's the most swollen after and it goes down from there as your body literally just like breaks it down. I'm not, like my lip feels so much like my lips never felt hard, but my lip feels softer already. Even though it looks so huge, you'd think it would be really, like, hard, and it's not at all. I was going to go to the gym, but, like, I can't really do that, can I? I'm not looking like this. So I'm going to go home, and if it goes down by, like, one, I might go and do an upper body session. But, yeah, um, this is just my filler update. Okay, 20 to 2. So what time was my appointment? N 25 past 9. Probably had it done at like quarter to ten. So it's about two. it's about four hours after I had the dissolver put in and it's I'm honestly shocked by how much the swelling has gone down. Like I really did panic. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to do anything today. But like it's to the point now where like I can leave my house and like from a distance people are gonna think what the hell is that? But if you come up close, it's like whoa. The swelling has gone down significantly. It was literally like I couldn't even like speak barely because of how like swollen it was but that's gone down a lot as you can see and then from the side i've got quite bad bruising there i knew that side was gonna bruise so i always find this side more painful still not painful at all but like this side generally more painful and after i had it done when she was massaging it didn't hurt anywhere but over here so i was like that's gonna bruise i can feel that that's gonna bruise and that's where i've got like um a scab from one of the like injection points because i've just bled a little bit more there um so yeah i don't really have much else to update you on i think i am just gonna drag this over two weeks show you like my hair um probably speak to you on saturday with my facial and obviously i'll just update you over the next two weeks or so about my filler as well in between the other things that i'm getting done is it even a glow up i'd say it's more like a glow down because i'm literally like reversing a lot of stuff i'm going back brown with my hair because i'm just sick of this like i don't know if anyone else have this issue from my chin downwards the blonde is such a nice color it always pulls really ashy but like everything around my head just pulls really warm and no purple shampoo in the world can fix it no toner in the world can fix it so it's just time to say goodbye to it um but i'm not gonna go too dark just in case i really don't like it so then i can go back blonde but yeah that's my lip update it's a little bit swollen like in the middle but i'm hoping that's just gonna pass off see you later hello so it's now 10 to 5 as we can see and oh my god it's gone like it's literally gone down like pretty much completely and that's what it looks like and then from the side oh my god i've not actually looked at the side that's crazy like all that puffiness that i had it's pretty much gone and when i go like that I don't have that dumbass line anymore. I'm literally so happy. It's not even been like 12 hours since I had it done, but I feel so much better already. My lips feel so much softer. This has bruised and it seems to be getting worse and worse. So that's obviously a bit of a problem, but like it'll die down. Like I've had bruising when I have filler and stuff. So I'm not too concerned about it, but I'm so, so much happier with how they look. I don't think the swelling has gone completely yet. I think that'll take like in the morning, they should be like completely down. But like I'm low key thinking, why did I get lip filler in the first place? I'm not entirely sure. I'm saying this, watch me in two weeks be like, I'm getting it put back in guys. Um... But honestly, right now, it's going to go down a bit more, but not, like, a lot more. Like, I can feel that, like, it's pretty much, pretty much all gone. So, yeah, as I do think I'm making this into, like, a two-week thing, um, 
like getting my hair done getting a facial i will see you on saturday and i will give you another lip update hello so it's saturday today i'm just gonna update you on my lips really quick the filler is literally gone i'm still undecided on if i want to get it refilled or not i think i am going to get a little bit back in just because now in comparison to my bottom lip it does look quite small but honestly like i don't hate how it looks but yeah if someone turned around and said to me like you're allergic to filler we've run out of filler in the uk we've got a shortage of filler you can't have it back in i wouldn't really be bothered right i actually quite like how it looks but if i can change it then i can change it all the swelling's gone it's been two days since i had it now i've got a bruise there but other than that literally such a smooth experience nothing went wrong with it thankfully and yeah i highly recommend Gemma at the gloss bar if you're in bradford i think she also has um a place where she does it in derby and corsum corsum i don't know how you say that but yeah so today is saturday part two of my little not glow up because I, I look fine already but like transformation i'm going for a facial somewhere in halifax i think the lady is called faye and her instagram is glow by faye and she's given me a deep cleanse facial basically i don't want to get too close up and show you but like i've got quite a lot of blackheads on my nose and i went to oxford as i'm sure you're aware the other week and i wore makeup like every day for like a week straight and that's not me um and i do clean my skin properly but like i just feel like it just needs like a proper like rejuvenation so yeah i'm having a deep cleanse facial um i'll bring you in and actually show you so you can see if there's actually a difference afterwards but yeah great that's like so overexposed that you literally can't see the detail of anything I don't know if you can see but like I've got quite a few <laughs> this is so close up and unflattering but like yeah I've got quite a few blackheads so I just want to see if this will help so I'm gonna drive to my appointment now and see you after hello my facial is done let me show you the difference on my nose I don't know if you can see but like what the hell that looks so much better Oh my god. That literally looks so much better. I literally had so many blackheads in my nose. She said that she couldn't get rid of all of them because they were quite difficult to get out and that like, I did have a lot, but she's got rid of so many and like on the sides my nose has always felt rough and that like, you can see all the blackheads and now they're gone. What are you doing? Hi daddy, I'm just filming part of a video. I'm bogging. Oh, all right, I'll get out the bathroom. Guess we shall continue this in bathroom number two of three. So yeah, she's got rid of a load of the blockheads on my nose. I literally cannot get over. <coughs> I don't know what just happened there. Cannot get over how much better that looks. Obviously blackheads are normal, like we don't need to feel like embarrassed about having them or like we need to get rid of them. Like it's a normal, thing in your skin in my opinion anyway um but it looks so much better already she did like a double cleanse then she did this cocoa enzyme thing then she did the extractions out of my nose which was quite painful i'm not gonna lie um my eyes were like watering um so that was fun um and then she did like an led mask and then she did a toner um serum and stuff like that so immediately after i left my skin looked a lot glowier than it does now i mean it still looks pretty bloody glowy but like it's been like half an hour since she finished it so my skin does look a little bit less glowy but that's just the products and stuff sinking into my skin but i'm so happy i just feel like it looks so much better like sorry to like focus you on my nose but like that looks so much better than it did before which people won't notice because i don't film that close up to my skin but i'm happy with it um and my skin just feels really soft hydrated so if you are in the area of bradford leeds because it's not that far from leeds halifax then i highly recommend that i'm gonna put her instagram here i'm so scared that i'm gonna like pussy out and decide to go like stay blonde but i can't my hair needs to go back brown so yeah i will see you next tuesday hello so i'm back in my car again it's tuesday today and it's time to go and fix my hair i'm gonna show you like some rough ideas of what i kind of want doing not sure this is a good idea or not because if it doesn't look like this i'm gonna be like oh well that went a little bit wrong didn't it so basically this is kind of like my natural hair color 
when it's like look at how i do i never thought that like my hair's been like damaged by like bleach because relatively speaking to say how much i've bleached it my hair is in really good condition but like then i look at pictures like that and i think like my hair was so thick so healthy thriving i feel like it won't be too bad because the top has been quite a lot darker since the last time i got it done so it's not going to be like i've been really blonde all over and now i'm like brown but i'm still scared that i'm not gonna like it or like it's gonna take some getting used to so i've also got this picture that i'm gonna show her as well just because i think i want to keep like some blonde bits in the front not like as like stripey as like the kylie jenner ones i do think they look cute but like it's a bit more like blended into her hair um and then the rest of it brown so i'm gonna go and get my hair done and this will be the final thing i'm getting done i was booked in to get my filler done on friday but i've had some shit go on this week which just means i'm not in the mood to be filling my face with shit and i just don't want to do it this friday so i've rescheduled it for the 22nd but even then i'm another reason why i did reschedule it is because i'm just i feel like i need more time to decide if i do want it redoing or not because i actually do like the way that this look i'm gonna go drive there and i will see you when i look a little bit different so it's not actually tuesday anymore it's the day after kind of annoyed that i didn't actually like finish this yesterday straight after i got my hair done because now my hair is like a little bit like flatter and stuff but, but i think it's safe to say i'm definitely not blonde anymore and i actually much prefer my hair like i was really really panicking that i was gonna like hate it and want to go back blonde but like my hair feels so much better it looks so much better i've had so many people asking me like if i've had extensions put in and just saying like my hair looks a lot better um so it's staying i'm gonna put in some pictures of like before and afters and some videos and stuff which for reference are all taken in natural lighting so it's an accurate representation of the color of my hair in terms of what i asked for basically she did some face framing at the front so i've got these like blonder like lighter brown bits and then she matched like my root up and painted that and stretched that like down to like here and then she's put like a dark not a dark brown like a light to medium brown tint like through the ends so it's got like some more dimension in it and it's not just like solid brown I thought having darker hair again was gonna mean like i need to like be more tanned and like it was gonna wash me out but it's actually bringing out my tan more and you can't tell in this lighting but it's also making the green in my eyes stand out more because i do have hazel eyes so i really really like it so yeah i'm literally just going to finish this video here if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already all that usual stuff and if you've got any questions about anything i've had done or like my hair anything like that comment them down below or message me on instagram and i will get back to you